coconuts in this I think driveway. This is about 40. 40 coconuts. Mm -hmm. And uh, is there any um, variety that you know, or is just the. Uh, These are seedlings from a uh, maypan coconut. Okay. And they're the ones that they grow a fat bottom. Oh, and they're yes, fairly okay. slow <laughs> growing. They're not real fast, not real tall. Yes. Now, this one has a problem. Uh oh. There's, a, there's something wrong in the heart. Ah, uh, I see. I'm hoping it's going to make it. I hope so. It seems to be coming out of it. It made, it made some odd leaves this summer, and then I noticed now it's starting to shoot more normal. Not completely normal, because, but more normal. I mean, I see the trunk is it's huge. It's strong. It like, seems like a strong one. But palms have one one chance, and it's right in the heart. And if that fails, that's the end of it. I lost one like that, but mine was tiny. That's the only one I've lost. I do have a replacement, but it'll never catch up to the other ones. Well, let's see. Let's hope that it outgrow it i guess hopefully i mentioned earlier we were here around five six months ago and um everything what you see here this uh, little jungle right now I mean, it was kind of like not empty but it was everything like just very tiny compared yep. to now so um what the next step here because i see you, you planted a lot of pigeon peas and they're doing wonderful look at that look at all the pigeon peas jack beans check it out look at the big big oh i didn't mean to do that that's okay so um this one you got me seeds and jay gave me a good couple of cuttings and a good amount of some of the seeds were this bean, the jack bean, and this one also supposed to fix the nitrogen. Very good nitrogen fixer. So it's a really good legume. Uh -huh. It's a really good nitrogen fixer. So they are doing really well. All right, you'll, you'll get seed. I, you should have some pods. Oh yeah, I good. already have the flowers and some pods already coming out. And they get kind of cute little flowers, but you mainly you want to use this one and you don't eat this one, if I remember correctly. You can eat them when they're very young, but when, that, not like this, but very young, the pods, before there's any seed. Okay, any seed formation. Okay. Yeah. Oh shoot, oh, I stepped in the fire. And... Watch out over there. More of them than there are of me. I know, right? So, um, I really like this grass, how much it grew at the time. I don't remember it was there five, six months ago. Yay! They grow. That's a very fast growing grass. And I forgot the name, it's but. It's called you... red napier grass. Red napier uh, grass. And it's kind of. I, I like the look of it too. The flowers and everything is not a bad looking, but the best, like you said, it's for chop and drop. Yeah. Because it just grows so quick. Yeah, I'm, I'm planning to reuse a lot of it this year. I'm gonna use a lot of it. Every bit of it I'm gonna use in test cuttings. So um, there's thousands in there. In yes. This row. So I'm gonna definitely, uh, one of them is still in the pot. I'm gonna plant it out too. I, I like the look of it too. Uh, this is a chaya. <coughs> and this one you have to boil yeah. before you eat because of the, um, uh, is it the cyanide content? Or? Yeah. I just kind of like that, yeah. However, what I have here, there's a full row of each kind. That's that's the star type, and this is what I call the maple leaf type. Yes. And these are going to be food for a worm farm. Oh, very nice. And so, this one, uh, you got me two cuttings of this one, and I love it because whenever flowers, you, most of the time, you will see white flowers coming in here. Uh, not just the flower buds, but butterflies and pollinators love it. And I love it because yeah, they are welcome to our yard for sure. Check out this papaya. I mean, I, I don't think you can put much more on this one. No. <laughs> but uh, it's uh, not a whole, not very tall and 
so fat. Is there any... I see it's a little different color than me. Do you know it's a different variety or... They call this the Red Lady. Red Lady. Mm -hmm. Very nice. I think I got the seed from Echo. So I'm going to plant it this year. Yeah, it's, it's one of my favorites. It's sweet, I heard. Oh, very, very sweet, colorful, so, and makes very good fruit, good quality. So I'm definitely going to plant it. <laughs> that's, that's all I've really grown. A lot of those you saw over there were seedlings yes. of red legs. But yes. these, these are the uh, hybrids. The hybrids. Okay, so I get the same thing from Echo. And uh, I love the way you plant, you companion plant. So you planted a lot of um, achachairu and uh, you planted sour steps. And you can't see it, you guys, but it's all here. Here's an example. Check it out. See the sour sap? Look at the sour sap. It didn't lose any leaves. Because of the... Because of the uh, protection. All the protection. So I'm leaving the pigeon peas to protect the uh, sour sap. There's 20 sour sap and 20 achachairu in this In this, this row. Planting. Wow. Not just this row, but five rows. And I remember this one, this is the world best mulberry. So I will definitely uh, uh, gonna ask you for a cutting. Day. Come so, see this spring and we'll all get purple and red. Oh yeah, because you're gonna be... <laughs> but uh, this one is supposed to be... I, I remember six months ago I was like, world best. So and then my next question was like, is it good? And Jay's like, Maybe it's world's good. best. <laughs> like there is a reason for that. <laughs> so Maybe. I never Maybe tasted good. it, but uh, no, I'm definitely uh, going to plant it. I think. And look at how that air pod did. One yeah. season, same, same, same season as the other one. But it's a big look at the thick mold. Yeah. That maybe it made a difference. And, and, uh, Plus, it had a little irrigation. Irrigation, and there is no um, grass around it. I think no weeds to take up the nutrients, huh? But look at the look at the strong for so one season from seed, and look at that. This is all gonna be great chop and drop. And uh, you can see the pigeon peas, and the same thing happens here, you guys. Eden Babukan, please. So, um, that one is it a chachairu wood? Yes, in the, inside and the little would box. You, would you mind, baby, to show I'll, it? I'll open up and you can, you can go in there. So, you can see the shade cloth and also the jack beans. You can see turmeric to the right. You can see um, the achachairus inside here. While they are young, they prefer kind of shady yeah. spot. And they are happier if you are planting them like that. Well, when, when, I, when I planted this this bed, this whole, whole uh, it's almost a half acre. Yeah. When I planted it, there was no shade. It was full, full of sun, sun, boiling down in the summertime. So I built the little boxes for them <clears throat> yes. so that they could have some protection the first few months. They and then need. eventually, I don't need the box now, really, and I'll probably take it off Yeah, because now you have the other protection. And otherwise, um, what I experienced with my achachairu, that the edges, the leaves get burned. Mm -hmm. uh, when they are young, if they are in a full sun, especially if they were grown in the shade and you're putting out of the full sun, they're not liking it. <laughs> no, they're not liking it at all. Yeah, I grew them from seed in a shade house. So, so they, that's what... They were one year old when I planted them. So they're almost a second year. They're still very small, but I have hopes this year they're going to start to move. Yes, definitely. And they will produce so much fruit. I've seen them in full fruit. Yeah. You've seen them too. Oh my, I was like, oh my goodness, these are my goals when I saw the fruit tree. Hundreds. It's beautiful, mm. beautiful, full of, it's like a Christmas decoration, but it's all delicious fruit. <laughs> and since, since they do get very wide, yes. I planted them at 25 foot spacing. You gave a good amount of space. I gave them lots space. of room. Yeah. But in between, I put the sour sop between yes. each one. Yes. So the sour sop, it will start bearing 
before the Achachai Ru, and I'll get several years off the sour salt before I ever get the Achachai Ru, but I'll have something coming off. So let me ask you this because I'm not uh, exactly sure, like, um, how how soon do you think the Achachai Ru bears from seed? I, I hear about seven years. Seven years, mm -hmm. okay. Uh, so I've got two years here. in it now. Okay, so hey, you know, you already know two only years. Five years, so to now go. five years. I have, uh, I bought one last year and I planted several. Now everything's at a child in the garden. I'm like, uh, what am I gonna do with all the other trees? I really love the at a child food. So, uh -huh. am I gonna choose that over, you know, some other? <laughs> and in the succession, like I said, I have the Achachairu is the final crop. Yes. The soursop earlier. Early. And papaya in between each one of those. That so, will bear. So I'm getting, gonna have papaya next year. Or so this coming year. How cool is that? Papaya fruits basically year round, almost, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, then the sour sap also gonna be year round for you in this climate when they start to produce. Right? They'll slow down in the winter. They slow down a little bit. Yes, very true. They kind of, you know, they don't like the cold uh, winds. And then the achachairu, uh, that will, yeah, that. I think there's summertime. Summertime, yeah. Maybe you're towards right. late summer. I think you're right. Yes, because that's when I get my fruit. And if you guys see the very tall bamboo, that's actually also edible, the bamboo shoots, right? Yeah. You can you can eat the shoots. I, I actually have way more than I can eat. That's a 350-foot row, so I sell them. I make some good money off of the bamboo shoots. I think I'm going to try it. I think I'm going to get, I'm going to buy you some from you because I like to try new things. So. Well, you need some room for this yeah. one. No, no, no. I mean, not to grow it, but I think I'm going to buy it to eat oh, it, sure. to try it because um, why not <laughs> try it out? You know, life is short. Yeah, so. if you like to see them, I cleaned them up quite a bit this year. Oh, yes, definitely. Because, uh, they tend to get too bushy on the bottom and start to see the sprouts. So I clean them up. Oh, look at the mulberry. Jay, can I try it? Oh, they're, they're flowering. Oh, yes, they're they get fruit. They get through. How about that? I didn't know they were in there. That, that's pretty rare. I don't think there's... Look at well, there's, that. There's one right there behind you. Oh my it's gosh, that's, that one is ready. Mm. Oh my god, that, that's a big one. It. Thank you so much. Okay, so I'm gonna have half. You can have it all. Mmm, sour, but I like it. This one is not all the way ready. Yeah. But would you like to try it? It's good. Try it. It's sour. It's good. You like it? Mm. You like it? Would you like to try it? That's it. You're gonna have it all over your bag. Oh, can you give it to him, please? I'm Thank you so that. much for letting me. But yeah. Oh, that, yeah. Okay, <laughs> oh, I love the day here. You got me a cutting and always full of bees. Yes. Always full. So I made cuttings from it. And now I have two and I'm going to have three and I'm going to have it all over the garden. <laughs> it's, it's worth it. It's, I uh, plant it. Whenever I plant other things, I always put and some And this in. is the African basil? African blue basil. Afri African blue basil, you guys. Uh, I'm sure many of you have it, but if you don't, it's totally worth to plant it because, I mean, you will always have them. And this is going to be kind of like a perennial, correct? Yeah, it's what it is it's it's like a mule mm -hmm. it's a sterile hybrid between an african basil and a purple basil yes and so you can see some purple in the leaves yeah a little bit you can see the the newer leaves have a little purple in them and on the other side more so you can see so, so it's good for eating being a, a mule it doesn't it cannot it's sterile you cannot make seeds so it never runs out of flowers it just keeps that's, so you will always have flowers, you will always have pollinators. The only trick with it is to keep pruning it back. So I have to prune it heavier. Prune it, prune it back 
frequently or else what happens the bottom gets woody and then you'll get a wind and it'll break yes so, so it's keep better it, keep it make it spread out okay i will that's do that. what i do i really enjoy them i Thank have you. some that are three years old <laughs> almost four years